Okay, uh, dealing with audit and uh, specifically the audit reduction tools, um, uh, now generally known as event management or incident management tools or security incident and event management tools. But the, uh, the former name of audit reduction does point out something that is important to bear in mind, and that is that they reduce the time that you need to spend. They reduce the, the attention, in a sense, that you need to put into uh, the analysis. Um, they are, uh, hopefully, focusing on the most important parts of uh, the audit logs and uh, reporting the most important things that you need to pay attention to, but do remember that they are doing this at the expense of the details. I know I've mentioned it before, but it is uh, something to bear in mind that um, while these uh, systems are uh, helping in the sense of uh, reducing the time that you need to spend, they also are doing it because they are reducing the detail that you get. They are reducing the information that is presented to you. And there is a danger that um, if uh, either the, the tool itself is, uh, you know, has some kind of a bias or some kind of an error built into it, or if we do not tune it properly, if we set thresholds too high, um, then we uh, may be in a situation where we have to, you know, we, we can lose uh, the alerts, the indications of uh, security incidents, attacks against us. Um, so we need to uh, keep that in mind and, and sometimes we have to uh, you know look at the the logs themselves uh, every once in a while to make sure that we aren't uh, missing something um, now these uh, preprocessors they're going to reduce the volume of the records they are going to uh, concentrate what we are uh, most in need of paying attention to at least that's the theory and you know by and large I mean that that is what they do um, but uh, you know uh, keep in mind uh, they are not telling you everything so um, the they process uh, they look at you know what is the most um, dangerous uh, of the events, um, is there a signature slightly more complicated than individual packets that they they perceive that they can present to you? So you know, there's a number of these aspects that the the tools uh, can do on your behalf. Um, they uh, can give you you know trend indications. Um, are we seeing more traffic of certain kinds? Are, you know, is there uh, an indication that uh, threats are growing, that, that attacks, even if they are being dealt with, are increasing? And, and therefore, you know, maybe we need to add another layer of defense or, um, uh, you know, tweak our, our systems in some way uh, to make our, our risk uh, protection stronger. Um, they're going to monitor uh, the usage trends. Are our people um, needing these resources uh, on a more, uh, you know, on an increasing basis? Uh, are they using it on an increasing basis? Do we have to uh, raise that with information technology and alert them to the fact that maybe we need additional uh uh, factors, additional purchases, uh, uh, 
you know, beefing up our information technology uh, in order to uh, to main our, uh, maintain our stance. Um, they're going to detect any, uh, you know, large uh, variations in in change in usage. Now, um, as different types of technologies appear, this may occur naturally. So, you know, just make sure that you know what it is and why it is that these changes are, are taking place. Um, and, uh, you know, make sure that you uh, understand uh, the... Uh, the, the reasons, uh, the, the issues um, that we're, we're dealing with, and uh, why changes are taking place. Um, there's going to be uh, specific tools, functions, databases in there looking at specific attack signatures, um, they are going to detect uh, the types of attacks um, that are being made against us. Um, all of these uh, types of things uh, need to, you know, well, they're, they're commonly part of it. Um, we need to know, though, you know, what, what is part of the tool that we are, in fact, using. Um, what is it doing? What are the component uh functions and capabilities of this particular tool. Uh, so, um, is there a, a sequence of events that indicates that there is some unauthorized attempt uh, to, uh, to gain access uh, to our systems? Um, a number of areas uh, to pay attention to and uh, to keep in mind uh, and, and this is I suppose primarily when we're looking at the raw logs ourselves you know does our does this tool uh, that we are using um, provide us with the uh, indications that we need to uh, determine those types of attacks um, and of course you know it, a lot of these uh, systems are going to be tied in with intrusion uh, detection and prevention systems and uh, you know we're, we're going to get uh, reports along that regard too so um, you know, these, these tools can themselves be, you know, functions and collections of other tools. And, uh, again, we need to know uh, the different things that they are doing, the ways that they are uh, dealing, what they're reporting to us, what they're not reporting to us, and uh, a bunch of different uh, uh, indications as to, you know, exactly how much protection are they giving us uh, you know our, our assurance requirements at, at this point I mean you know audit is our assurance requirement but we have to have sort of in a sense a, a secondary layer of assurance requirements what is it telling us what is it supposed to be telling us is it in fact telling us all of that um, so can we rely on all of this